Okay, so fifth graders, this is, um, this is, oh, sorry about that. Let me change that. Yeah, I knew that, right. So this is nine, uh, we're in nine five right now. What page is this? The one that I'm on. Yeah, 402 looks like actually. So that's page 402. Okay. Shh, I hear some chatter. You need to be quiet, please. So this page here, I pulled this one up, went up and copied it and put it in my in my book here. I thought it was a really good example because it's it's modeling, and and you really the next couple sections what they're doing here is you know we've been dividing um, whole numbers like if I divided um, three divided by one half that's what we've been doing, and so you guys have learned that you would turn three into a fraction change it to multiplication and flip the one half into two over one and then like three weeks ago you learn all about multiplying fractions you just multiply straight across this is all review for you guys so it'd be six over one it equals six that's that's what you guys have been learning now in this new section instead of three divided by one half here's what they're doing they're doing one half divided by three that's what they're doing so now you're dividing a fraction Miss Pettit by a whole number now what's nice is you don't treat it any different it's the same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and run with this here for a moment All right. Um, so it's one half and I'm dividing it by 3. I still have to keep 3. You know, I have to change 3 into a fraction. Okay? And so that's what I did. I just put a 1 underneath 3. Because 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3. There's no difference. Okay? Now, if you guys remember from the other day, I taught you guys keep, change, flip okay so that's what we're gonna do keep stays one half change it to multiplication and flip it so instead of three over one is now one over three and now what do you do you multiply straight across one sixth there's your answer so when you have a fraction being divided by a whole number you guys treat it exactly the same way. It doesn't matter if it comes, the fraction is the first number or the second number. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You still do the keep, change, flip. And this, this first page here, I liked it, <coughs> the way they modeled it. It says, uh, on an area model, divide one half into three equal parts. All right? So look what they've got here. They got a, a cornbread pan. It looks like corn. Yeah, it is cornbread. Here's half the pan. There's half the pan. And then what do they do? They divided half the pan that was left because because uh, um, Mr. Coggin ate half the cornbread. Okay. There's half the cornbread gone. It's gone. And Mr. Ray was wanted to eat the other half, but. Mr. Coggin hid it from him, all right? So look what they did. They divided what was left into three parts. Here's, here's a third, here's a third, here's a third. So um, if you looked at it this way, at another dividing line right there, actually each one of these right here would be a sixth of the original pan. And if you went ahead and did the math, like I've taught you guys, it's going to be one-sixth. One-half divided by three, which is what I did right over here. You ended up with one-sixth. So that was a great model. I like that one. All right? Let me move this up a little bit here. Convince me. Let's look at that for a moment. It says, in the example above, how is dividing by three the same as multiplying by one-third? And um, 
So you guys can just copy this down here both ways. Separate a number into three equal parts. All right, so copy that down. That one's done for you. All right, let's look at the guided practice. So let's see here. Uh, not worried about one and two. You can put a line through those. Um, you guys can do um, three, four, five, and six. And it says you can use picture or objects to help. Let me do uh, let me do number six for you or with you. So it's one half divided by four. So I'm going to change that to one half divided by. I need to change four into a fraction divided by four over one. Now I'm going to do the keep change flip. One half stays the same. Change it to multiplication, flip it to one quarter. Multiply straight across, the answer is one eighth. Okay? One eighth. All right. You guys can do um, do seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Um, let's see here. And you could do 12, 13, and 14. So there's 9. What was that? 9, 5. All right. So let's look at 9, 6. Oh, sorry. You're right. I'm jumping ahead here. Um, 9, 5 back page. Um, is that the right one? Yes, it is. You guys can do 15, 16, um, 18. Now, look at 18 here. It says, who ran further? How much further? There's two questions. And then they give you something to do, write an equation to find D, the difference between, or the difference of the two distances. I might do this one on a homework help video tonight. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, 17, 18. And you can do, close that. You can do, um, yeah, you can do 20 and 21. Okay. All right. Um, another example. We're, we just jumped right into the guided practice. And this is um, this is nine dash six. What page is this? Page four oh seven. Okay. So. Um, let's look at number one here for a second. I do want you guys to do that one. I want you to think about it here. So number one says when you divide a whole number, so that's like one, two, three, four, five, or whatever, the quotient or the answer will be greater or less than, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't finish that. When you divide uh, a whole number by a fraction that's less than one, Will the quotient, or the answer, be greater or less than the whole number? Well, let's think about that for a moment. If I, if I take a whole number, let's say I take 2, and I divide that number by, um, how about 7 eighths? That's pretty close to 1. Okay. 
we need to find out if my answer is going to be greater than or less than 2. So I'll change this into 2 over 1. Um, keep that the same. Change it and flip it. 8 over 7. Multiply straight across. This becomes 16. This becomes 7. 7 goes into 16 what? How many times? 2. 2 times. What's left over? 2 sevenths. So the question is, is the 2 sevenths greater than 2? Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay. So um, the answer to this one, for number 1, is greater than. It will always be greater than. All right. You guys can do 2. You can do three, four, five, six. Oh, and four down here. Um, hey, what? Oh, that's kind of. That's not four. Yeah. Just a oh, that is just a number. I see. And that's why I was getting confused. I was looking at that thinking something's wrong there. What did I do? Okay. Thank you for correcting me there. Okay, uh, let's go down a little bit further. Um, you guys can do, yeah, you can do yeah, 7, 8, 9, and 10. It says use the model. <laughs> so let's look at number 10 here for a moment. So I'm going to just write 1 third divided by 6. So I'm going to change that to one third times, and and that this would be really six over one. I'm going to flip it now, one over six, which equals one eighteenth. So they gave us these three boxes here. If these three boxes need to total eighteen, how many? little separate boxes would there be in each of the three boxes? Three. Not three. Six. six. I heard somebody say it. Six. So there you go. There's six boxes. So you have to divide each one of those boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if there's six in this one, six in this one, six in this one, total is going to be 18. So there's number 10. Uh, 10 is done for you here. Answer would be 1 18th. Okay. Next page. Oh, did I copy it? Oh, maybe I didn't copy it. Uh oh. My bad. I guess I didn't copy it. So, um,. Well, let me see here. Um, so I'm looking at page, it's page 408. And I want you guys to do, um, do 11. I know you can't. I just said I don't have it up there. I'm sorry you weren't listening. Um, 12, 13, um, 14, 14, and 15. So I do want you to do, looks like, It'd be all of them on that page. And what I'll do is a homework help video. And I'll do some of those. And so on page 408, make sure you guys do those 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all of them. Okay. So I'm going to end this. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I thought I got that last page in there. I guess I didn't. So I'll end this.